Hello everyone and welcome to Spiritual Guides Academy. I'm your girl, Empress Queen Tay, and Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guides Academy has given me the opportunity, the privilege to do 12 oracle and tarot readings for you guys, okay? So with that being said, you guys, please subscribe to Spiritual Guides Academy channel. Also, come check me out at my channel, Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle, okay? You know that tarot energy is fluid, you guys. Take what is meant for you, leave what is not, okay? Also, these messages are timeless. They're meant to reach you and they're meant to reach you, okay? So with that being said, boo, let's get into this deck right here. And I'm going in with the Heal Yourself Oracle deck and want to see what is coming out for the collective that I'm reading for, okay? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective that I'm reading for? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective? Divine Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective? And we have two. <clears throat> oh, we have three. How teachable are you? Hole in the soul. And long and home. Okay, and right now I just get a sense of longing for the collective. I get a sense of longing. And I get a sense of wanting to accomplish something, wanting to do something, but needing to learn something in the process, but also not giving up. Okay. And I feel this hole in the soul. I feel like there is something maybe connected to something that you have tried before in your life. Okay. Maybe when you were younger. Okay. Or maybe something in the past. Okay. Um, that really left you feeling empty or a relationship, a situation that really left you feeling empty. Okay. For some of you, it's not about a relationship I'm getting. I'm getting a sense of it's personal. Okay. Cause we have the home card here and this is, this is giving me personal. Okay. This person is in their room. Okay. And I, I feel like something is, 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 is reminiscent. Okay, it's something that you're holding on to in the past is what I'm getting off of this. And for some of you guys, you've been doing something, you've been learning something, you've been researching something, and you might start off doing something and then you will stop. It's with the energy that I'm getting off of this card right here. Okay. Something is old though. This feeling that you have in your soul, this feeling that you have in your spirit, this hurt, this trauma. Okay, this is old trauma. I'm getting off of this energy. So I'm going to briefly read through each card. Okay, number nine is first. And it says, are you open to learn new things in your life? How high is your desire to let go of judgment, doubt, negativity, and self-sabotage? What are some of your favorite things to do? Is it to watch TV, go shopping, play golf, drink, gossip with your friends? Are you willing to give those things up in order to create time to learn something new? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? What is your willingness to really apply what you learn. And that was the energy that I was getting off of that card. You know, for some of you guys, you know, you want to do something. You want to change something. Okay. But what are you willing to give up to change that? To learn that new thing that you desire to do, to learn, to know, to be. Okay, so we're going to go to card number 35. 
And it says, how do you keep recreating home? In the context of this teaching, let's use the word home to describe your unconscious ability to attract intimate partners with the positive and negative qualities your parents instilled in you. This card honors the wounded child in you that keeps recreating home, hoping to get your childhood developmental codependencies needs met. You might even provoke the other to act or look like your original parent. In a world where so many of our natural emotions were not encouraged and worse yet suppressed, you are now encouraged to feel the feelings trapped inside you and that constantly sabotage your life. Okay. And now we're going to card number 36. And it says, your childhood wounds are creating a hole in your soul. One way your childhood wounds disrupt and extraordinary life is through low-grade depression experiencing as a preeminent emptiness empty feeling as if a child you tried to make everything all right by picking up the pieces of your family's drama then you adopted a false self when you lose your authentic your authentic self excuse me you disconnect from your true feelings, needs, and desires. Instead, you wear a mask to make others feel more comfortable. Okay, and it's more to each card. Okay, but I didn't want to, you know, tie the whole reading up, just reading these cards. Just know that the feeling that I'm getting off of this is something is repeating itself because of childhood trauma here. Something that has to deal with home. Okay, something that has to deal with a way of being learned from a young and something has, you know, sucked something from you. Okay, and is now at this point, if you're resonating, if you're resonating with this as right now, um, spirit is giving me that you're needing to look at that and you need to release that and reteach yourself at this time. Okay. Spirit says the overall is reteach yourself okay so now we're going to get into some messages and i'm going to use the wisdom of the oracle deck okay so we're going to get some messages from my high self a message a message from the ancestors a message from our guardian angels. Okay. And we're going to see what's coming out. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. Just for the collective that I'm resonating with. Either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energy. Allow the messages to come through. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. What is coming through for the collective that I'm reading for? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the higher self? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the higher self? Thank you. And we have Thinker. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the ancestors? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the ancestors? New life and happy, happy. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? Fork in the road. Okay.
So with the energies that's coming out along with the energy that's already out, I feel like for some of the collective that I may be reading for right now, you're just, you know, you're this beautiful, magnificent, wonderful person, talented, creative, abundant, right? And you know this. But is it is something that is having you heavily in thought and not just, you know, allowing yourself to be all this that you know that you are. When nothing but love and your guardian angels surround you. And I feel like, you know, there is um how to put it, divine Holy Spirit. There's a team that's set out, specifically a Pacific someone that is set out to just cover you at this moment and you just might feel loved out of nowhere sometimes you just in this moment of thinking and you get too down you just might feel this spirit of love and ease and then something you know has you to like you know shift your energy shifts all of a sudden is what i'm getting off of this card may not resonate with everyone but for the collective i feel like the divine holy spirit you know have you in this, you know, rethinking about a lot of things because of the relationships maybe you've been involved in, the things that you've been doing, the things that you have not been doing. Okay, it's the energy that I'm getting over here. And the message from the ancestors is that there is this new life for you because you are all these things. There's a place with inside yourself. That is beautiful and you know this. And I feel like this is what you're thinking. I know that I'm all these things. I know that I'm all these things. I know that this new life, I can I can get out of the things that has held me back. Whatever that may be, your relationship. For some of you, it's a real childhood wound. It's real childhood wounding here. Okay. And the message from the guardian angels is, you know, now that some of you are aware of this and in this thinking space and know that something is readily available to you. OK, your ancestors do want to bless you at this falcon roll because, you know, that some things you have to let go of. It's some things you have to relearn. OK. It's some things you have to relearn. It's what the Divine Holy Spirit is giving me with this fork in the road. Okay. You're at a decision. You're at a point where you have to make a decision on where you want to go. Do you want to still keep this hole in the soul, which is a victim mentality for some of you? Because Spirit is giving me, yes, something tragic did happen. Yes, something, you know, horrible happened. But how... How did you do now that you know this happened and you know that something is need to be relearned and you have the facts about a situation and you're thinking about it and the divine Holy Spirit and the ancestors already said that you are this abundant person. This new life is waiting for you. You don't just have to live with this hole in your soul. You're at this fork in the road. What is going to be your decision? Spirit says. Hold it up. What is going to be your decision? At this fork in the road where you may be feeling or you may be coming from and where you're headed. This is where you're headed. This is what's waiting for you. So we're going to get in to a power thought. We're going to get an affirmation. Before we get into the read, okay? Archangels, ancestors, thank you. And we have divine wisdom guides me. I am guided throughout this day in making the right choices. Divine intelligence constantly, continuously guides me in the recognition of my goals i am safe it's a lot of 
guided and divine wisdom intelligent like i'm not I, I don't feel like the collective that i'm talking to are you know just some just unintelligent people you're very intuitive with this card i get you know very intuitive okay i for for uh, some reason i'm i'm getting crown chakra off of this okay so let's put this right here and i'm going to get an angel oracle message an angel heart oracle message okay and then we're going to get into some tarot Your guardian angels also want me to point out that you're divinely protected. Okay? You're very divinely protected and you're very wise. You know, I'm drawing into this owl right here. Also, this monkey right here. Okay? I feel like for some of you guys... You have some people around you that just want to hang on. You know, they're just going to follow you. They, they can't give you any real direction on where to go. This is left up to you and your divine wisdom and your, your, your spiritual team. However, you connect with your higher self and the higher source. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what message is coming out of divine Holy Spirit. Okay. That was quick. And we have expression. Express how you feel clearly, lovingly, and honestly without fear or judgment. Say exact, Say it exactly like it is. All will be resolved when we express to others how you truly feel. Trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned. Self-expression is liberating and healing. Okay, and I feel like this is this is this is what you're thinking about. This is what needs to be thought about. Spirit is giving me is expressing this energy right here because something is already destined for you. You know that, but this is this is what your guardian angels are trying to help you with this decision, this fork in the road right here because you're receiving divine wisdom all left and right. Spirit is telling me you. you're recognizing synchronicities and everything. Okay, so you know that, you know, there's something here that needs to be worked on, that needs to be expressed. Okay, it's liberating for you to get this off your chest or express this or heal this, however you may want to go about doing that. Okay, so we're going to get into some tarot. Okay, and this is going to be a six card spread. The first card out is going to be your energy. The second card out is going to be what's grounding you. The third card out is going to be your desires and primal needs. The fourth card out is going to be what you need to let go. The fifth card out is going to be where you need to direct your energy and your attentions. And the sixth card out is going to be your advice. Okay. Our angels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, allow me. Devil is at the back of the deck also with... um. The hangman energy. Okay, some of you may be dealing with some very toxic people, or some of you may be dealing with some very toxic things. Your own self is what I'm getting on this. You may be connected to a very toxic person. You might be going through something that's very toxic right now. But some of you guys are trying to pull out of this. Okay, you're trying to pull out of this energy. That's why this fork in the road and thinker is here. Okay. You guys are just trying to pull away from a toxic person or a toxic way of living with a person is what I'm getting as well. Okay, yeah, at the bottom of the deck we have justice. Okay, some of you were dealing with a karmic situation, others of you balance. You know, balance is coming in there. Yeah, six eight of soul, eight of cups energy. Okay, you're walking away from this situation that was toxic. Okay. Whether it was toxic within yourself or toxic energy coming from another person. Okay, spirit says off the top of the deck. 
We have the King of Swords. Okay? You're being very logical. You And that matches the energy right here, the message from the higher self. Okay? For some of you, I'm getting overthinking. You're overthinking something. Okay? With this King of Swords energy here. Okay? You're being too detailed, too you know, logical to in your head about it. And you're, 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 how teachable are you if you're in the King of Swords energy? That's only seeing things and saying things one way. Okay. The next card out, what is grounding you? We have the Nine of Cups energy. Okay. And I feel like for some of you, you're at a place where you're just, you know, how teachable are you if you're in the Nine of Cups energy? If this is what's grounding you, you're already fulfilled. You're already satisfied. You're already in a good place. Okay, but something is sucking something out of your soul. And it's been doing that for a long time. And Spirit is giving me that is why some of you are making the same mistakes over and over again. Okay, desires and needs and principles. For some of you, you're trying to get it and go about it in whatever way that you can. You want this. You know that it's here for you and you're trying to go about it and get it any way you can. Okay. And Spirit is giving me for some of you, what is that, you know, why are you trying to do that? Why are you trying to go that way with it? Okay. For others of you, I feel like you've dealt with, you know, um, some people in the past that now that you're in a better space, you're just, you know, you're cutting them off left and right and there's no love in it. Okay. Are you dealing with a person that is very cocky, very that was very cocky, very stuck up? So you just, you know, you just had to be straight, direct to the point, not even, you know, cutting no corners with them. Okay, very on the defense. I feel very defensive energy here. What you need to let go of. We have the chariot energy. And I feel like the chariot energy is coming out because you need to let go of this energy. You can't keep going on in, you know, this, this longing energy into this new life. You've come to a place in your life where you have to make a decision with this fork in the road here. Divine wisdom guides me. Okay. And I know that for some of you, this may not resonate with everyone. Okay. I do feel a sense of a, a deep sense of hurt in a relationship or relationships, meaning that, you know, this has happened in different situations with different people, with different people. Also, I'm feeling it also is a home based situation that's going on here. Okay. So. The next card is where to direct your energy and your intentions. And we have the Knight of Swords. Four Cups. Ace of Swords. I feel like for the collective, for some of you, there is something that is being said, something that is being told to you that, you know, you don't want to look at. For some of you, this is a, a hard truth to look at. It's hard for you to look at this truth. So you run away from it.
But spirit has already said you have you can't move forward in this energy. This is the energy you have to let go of. Of being in this King of Swords, Nine of Cups. Five of Swords energy. Divine Holy Spirit. What advice and what is the advice and outcome? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. Three of Cups. Page of Pentacles. For some of you, I see that this is a this is about a relationship with a person. Okay, that didn't really have much to give you. You were good by yourself. Like, I feel like you're a very independent person. The collective that I'm reading for are very independent people. Okay, if not, take the energy, flip it of where the energy needs to go. Okay, if it's resonating with you. Okay, and I feel like someone here hurt. Someone here hurt you real bad. Okay. And you're, you're wanting this new life and you're wanting to be happy. And you're at this fucking role where you're thinking about the decisions that you made with this person. How you are because of this person. Also, things in your past, in your childhood. I feel like there is a lot on your mind. That's why you're in this King of Swords energy. But I feel like for some of you, because of purposes of work, you are a mother, you are a father, you have to, you know, I'm I'm everything is okay. I'm good. I'm fine. Okay. But it's some things that the divine Holy Spirit is wanting you to see. And I feel like with this ace of swords and this four of cups, it may be triggering something. Okay? Because we have the knight of swords here. And this is where to direct your energy. Or oh, this is where your energy is being directed to. And I feel like this is running. I feel like this is running away from clarity. Running away from that which you seek. That's why you're at this fork in the road. May not resonate with everyone, but that's what the divine Holy Spirit is giving me. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little bit of clarifying and see um what some of this energy is. Because a lot of you were cheated on three of cups energy here. A lot of you were cheated on, a lot of you have a lot of burdens, and this is wines. This is a you know, time and time again trying to you know, get caught up in a situation, relationship, something you're putting your all into, your passion into, okay? And someone being attached to, you know, three of pentacles, their page, they don't know how to handle responsibility yet. They have a little something going for themselves, but they have a long ways to go to get to a king of pentacles, Okay? But you're in the Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay? You're very self-sufficient. Okay? For some of you, I'm getting you don't really need to have a person. That's why you're in this King of Swords energy right here with the Nine of Cups. Okay? Divine Holy Spirit. What is this King of Swords? Give me more information on this King of Swords. What is this King of Swords about? Tower and an ending. So I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. Okay. This is an oracle spread for the collective that I'm resonating with. You know, so as we go through these 12 reads, who knows what it is going to come out. Okay. But I'm sending my love. 
and divine healing towards you guys. Okay, divine Holy Spirit is drawing my energy to this fork in the road card. So with that being said, I love you guys. Thank you, Miss Nicole and Spiritual Guides Academy. I'll see you guys soon.